all right everyone welcome back into another prize picks video gonna be touching on the top props today so we will see how <laughs> the hot dogs from yesterday close out and even the taco from atone two days ago got some sweats going right now fleetwood should easily hit he already won his birdie or better matchup which was actually my favorite bet from yesterday the two mlb based props that i really liked missed which was annoying but kind of expected after the last two times of the really good ones hitting and then these two are pretty tight they should hit as well as i'm recording this shane lowry minus one wyndham clark minus two we'll see i think they all have at least another par five left we'll see fingers are crossed it's it's tight though but this was the bet that i felt was the best one they we were getting and thomas peters put up a good effort actually putting up three birdies but tommy fleetwood has four birdies right now actually currently a first round leader sweat for me so fingers are crossed there so looking at the board for today we do have pga WNBA, some esports and obviously some mlb it is going to be a limited slate uh, so we're probably not going to get that many good ones i do want to start out with WNBA, however because i want to call it that this is probably the best bet that we're going to get lately that has been the case and actually lately they have been hitting which has been very nice yesterday i called out a prop that had a 54 percent chance to hit and i assume it was gone by the time the video was live because it was such a good line and that's the tough part about props contents it's putting out picks that will be there throughout the whole day you know that's the very tough part uh, but looking at it we have diwana here diwana for over 18.5 points minus 139 for that 54.4 percent chance for that one to hit we go into our game log 19 21 28 was this the game when she was a taco no no that, that would have been a long time ago let's see what happened there oh okay so that's that ain't, that shouldn't be in the game log is the summary of that um the all-star game is what i'm guessing right yeah so that ain't that shouldn't even be included so the last three times she's been able to get the over uh, we see the minutes there 38 36 37 obviously we like that um we'll take that shot attempts let's see here seven for 16 eight for 17 so yeah as long as she's getting about 16 shot attempts we will take that um 18.5 a lot of points i would feel like a WNBA game but hey it's the best bet that we have available 54 percent chance for it to hit we'll see so here's one that's worth calling out now while well, switching up into mlb here's one that's worth calling out uh on underdog here so chris bassett underdog has the line set at 4.5 still whereas price fix has it set at five that is going to be a good one that is one that we want to be chasing there and we could pair that one up with uh Dewana there and we, we would have a pretty decent line it seems like that we're going there so maybe maybe we're looking at an underdog day just given the fact that we have two good props and that's the biggest prop line difference that we have thus far between underdog and prize picks so i think we should jump in and take advantage of that and then from there i do just want to take a peek at pitcher strikeout props in general seeing if we are getting any other good ones that we want to be targeting uh maybe looking at the projection difference zach gallon probably not i just get the fact that the under doesn't like it yeah we're not really getting that many good ones in terms of the over maybe some under bets hmm yeah nothing too crazy in terms of under bets either maybe kyle gibson for some reason the day doesn't really like it too much nothing too much there just yet and obviously i'm recording this video a little bit earlier so we don't have that many uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at the hitting fantasy score and so lately it seems like when these good hitting fantasy score props that we don't get hit it's simply because they get walked like once or twice so what happened with matt olson yesterday it's just obviously something we can't control but kind of annoying when it occurs so right now we aren't getting any fair ones as well remember i want to look for the projection to be over by two here and i want to see the vegas line over by two as well compared to the price picks line so we see it really likes manny machado who manny has been playing extremely well recently so i get why it likes that if we take a peek at that game a nine run over and under so not a terrible game there uh as we can see the run totals today are going to be extremely low so that's probably going to be one of the better ones that we are getting um so not terrible does feel like we'd be forcing it a little bit uh we look at the brewers 8.5 for the run total and i bring that up because we have christian yelich as the next best one okay he had been on a little bit of a hot streak last two games i mean seven's not bad but two so he's been under the last two times probably do i guess for a good game although seven is, is not terrible once again so i see why some of the projection data doesn't exactly love it and then looking at where the projection data is over by two compared to prize picks we got corbin carroll not a terrible one and then i want to call brandon nemo as well where you know not dominating in terms of like over by a lot average over right there is 1.1 but he is projected vegas thinks that he's going to get over minus 145 to get that over so not a terrible prop there and then looking at the under we don't really have any good under bet let's get into esports all right so we do have some lines that i kind of like here okay all three of these we are getting a small prop line difference but because it's such a small number that is kind of huge so this is a situation in which i feel comfortable that in the under 
for these three on prize picks and then betting the over on underdog and if you guys are wondering if i miss like basketball and football i think that's very easy to tell by the fact that we are being forced into some esports props so the nice thing about all three of these is that they're not on a team so we can go ahead and use those uh, so it's looking like another pretty good bet there and then we go ahead and flip it around and we are getting the exact same thing there as well so uh, a very good situation in which we have some some decent stacks and the nice thing about this is maybe we get a little bit of a flex here so if you want to bet the over for these ones once again on prize picks let's do that and then just trying to see if we are getting any massive prop line differences at all nothing too much so they are kind of tight uh the biggest ones would be kind of in these headshots uh, because obviously that's gonna be a smaller number so 1.5 for like headshots is a decent amount we can see not too much of an edge though statistically so i did just realize that basically all the pga props that i would call out are going to be live by the time this video is uploaded apologies there so what i'm looking at here for the bet of the day would be something on underdog a small bet because we don't have that many props available as i'm recording this video uh, but we do see chris bassett 4.5 strikeouts is gonna be a good one and then uh delana for over 18.5 points is also gonna be a good one it's gonna be all for this video make sure to give a like and subscribe if you guys want access to that cheat sheet that'll be updated throughout the day uh, obviously once more props are filtered in there from prize picks those will be available if you guys want to check those out click the link in the description below gives you access to that cheat sheet for just ten dollars a month all right let's have a good slate and as always let's keep cashing